Let's do this! <laughs> <laughs> Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Itadakimasu, where we try weird Japanese food that fits the theme of the week. This week we're trying... Stuff from Japanese vending machines. Oh yeah! Now I love vending machines here in Japan. They've got so many weird drinks and uh, I love it. I'd like to just go and pick something I haven't tried before and just have at it. They're pretty interesting. <laughs> uh, a lot to be found in Japanese vending machines. Mm -hmm. It's pretty well known that you can find really strange stuff like non-edible items and some really weird stuff sometimes. Yes. However, <laughs> mostly in our local area it's just drinks. But even those, the vending machines serve hot drinks, cold drinks, yeah. soups, um, all like hot chocolate, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so this time we tried to grab some stuff that we haven't tried, uh, but you know, we'll see how we scored. <laughs> so our first one here is some kind of soda um, jelly drink. This is jelly, grape and jelly soda pop maybe? Interesting. <clears throat> Grape soda jelly. Looks good. Not really. It's gonna be awesome. Get two of these. Oh, How much are they? Win me a prize. A dollar twenty. Not bad. So look at this this time. Some of these vending machines have this uh, this deal where when you hit the button. Oh, so close. <laughs> it's like a little lottery system, and then if you get all sevens. Uh, Whatever money you put in there, you get to use it again. So you could buy it. It's like a two for one. Now on it, it says <laughs> to shake it. So we're guessing that it's not carbonated because why else would you shake it? But Shake for 10 seconds, right? Grape, soda, jelly. So it's going to be jelly with something inside. I mean, the picture <laughs> yeah. is awesome. You can tell what it is, right? Yeah, it looks really good. We just don't know if it's going to be good, but I think it will. I bet it will be good. Yeah, shake it. Yeah, shake, shake them up. <laughs> <laughs> shake weight! <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't shake for 10 right. seconds, I guess. Uh, I don't know how serious shake. they are. Man, it was a vigorous shaking, so we're probably good. Oh, that's crap. Now watch them just like explode. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna suck. Okay, no explosion. Apparently not carbon. <laughs> <laughs> it's very frothy. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, maybe that says wait ah. 10 seconds after you shake it to do it. <laughs> <laughs> So, we didn't lose our minds right there. <laughs> what happened is it started to like froth out of the can. <laughs> this is going to be the best episode ever. And Justin got it all over himself. <laughs> no, just a little tiny bit. Oh, but... Man, so, so far the flavor was good. <laughs> From the phone Come that was sucked off the Come by. Right when I started to say, oh, I guess it's not carbonated then. No, I absolutely carbonated. Tastes like grape. Still dripping. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of almost like a grape uh, cough syrup slash soda. It's pretty thick. Uh, and of course, there's chunks. <laughs> chunks of aloe. Wrong is it aloe? Way. Well, it says soda jelly, but I don't know. I don't know what the jelly is, but there's definite chunks in there you gotta chew. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Definitely fun. Uh, maybe you should learn how to read Japanese before you do it. It probably <laughs> says to wait 10 seconds after you shake it. Yeah, good ape. Um. <laughs> soda. What's the rest? Jelly. Jelly? Jerry. Jerry. Jetty. 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 <laughs> so with the jetty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's a little bit thicker than you would be used to drinking as like a beverage. Yeah. Kind of like a thick, like if you eat Indian food and you drink la lassi or whatever, the yogurt drink. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Kind of that consistency. And of course, chewable chunks inside. Which is always a plus. Yeah, so this is kind of like the aloe drinks we were talking about mm -hmm. before that I really like. Whenever I see them in the vending machine, I'm like, oh, yes please. Yeah, a lot of the, the vending machine stuff seems to have chunks of stuff in it. So the orange juices have like ultra mega pulp pieces. It's basically just half chunks of orange slices. And stuff. Mega pulp. <laughs> <laughs> and then also what's popular in Japan is th those uh, little tapioca balls. Well, not the little yeah. ones, the massively black ones. And they, yeah, 
They're really good too once you get used to having those. And the I straw like that they give you to drink that is like a paper towel. Too. Has to be. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You'll be able to suck those things up. What do you think? You would recommend this to somebody? Oh, absolutely. This one's a really easy one to recommend. Mm -hmm. It tastes good and it's got that weird <laughs> jelly thing that you just don't find in the States. So I would definitely recommend this to give it a try. It's really good. I agree. It's a lot of fun. It tastes good. Um, you really can't go wrong unless you do it wrong and spill it all over the damn place. But, but I don't know who would do that. <laughs> Just um, amateurs, I'm sure. <laughs> all right, item number two we got out of the vending machine today is something neither one of us have tried, right? Yeah. And it says happiness, which can't go wrong with happiness. Yeah, when you see happiness, you have to buy it, right? <laughs> happiness is always purchasable. Uh, That's what I've always heard. <laughs> if happiness is for sale, you should probably do And it. we found one called happiness, which looks good and happy. So we're gonna buy that. Looks like a hot drink. It's peach and raspberry. We don't know what it is, it's probably tea. We're also gonna buy, what did we say we're gonna buy? No, we're gonna get two of those. We're just gonna get two. This is peach and raspberry happiness. I don't know if this is a tea or a juice, but it was sold warm. Yeah, it's a hot drink. Hot drink. It's probably tea. So hot tea. Wow. Oh, it smells very sweet. Mm -hmm. it smells like peach syrup or something. Yeah, it smells very strong. It smells like something you would put on your pancake, really. It does smell good though. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how much of this I'll be able to drink because it is, it does, I mean, it almost looks like syrup. <laughs> Maybe we bought pancake syrup and we didn't know it. <laughs> If so, mm. yes. <laughs> All right, so. Ready for some happiness in a bottle? Let's do it! No, oh, no, not uh, easy documents. Kanpai! Kanpai! It's actually good. Yeah, I like it. I could see myself getting this when you're cold and mm -hmm. waiting for the train. Yep. You're like, I need some warm peach raspberry. Happiness. Happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not nearly as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Um, it's a tea, so I should have said that. It's tea, and it's flavored like peaches. Um, I don't know if I taste raspberries. If there is raspberry, it's a very mild aftertaste, maybe. So it's not sour. It's very mild. And, uh, yeah, it's like really sweet tea. Like, if you're from the South, you might like this. because Yeah, like that's peach true. Tea. Yeah, you don't really get much, like, iced tea here. It's mm -hmm. either green tea or, like, a black tea. Yep. So this is probably the closest thing you're going to get to sweet tea. I would agree with that mostly, yeah. There is, like, a thing called straight tea in that brown bottle, which is pretty good. And then I had, I had a tea today, which was, like, a strawberry tea, which was also a little bit sweet, but... Probably not as sweet as this though. This is pretty sweet. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. Yeah, so what do you think? It's good? It is good. And it's... would you recommend this to somebody while they're cold and waiting for the train and I need would... a little happiness? Yeah, I would recommend anytime you need to purchase some happiness, you would <laughs> yeah. buy one of these. You can get it cheap. It was like 120 yen, I yeah, think. Yeah, something, something like that. Like Keep your hands warm when it's cold. Mm -hmm. Keep your belly warm when it's cold. Yep, so thumbs up. Thumbs up. And uh, yeah, definitely recommend. It was really good. Mm -hmm. All right, so for our third item, this isn't exactly a drink. Well, you drink it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is hot soup in a can. Mm -hmm. The stuff marked red is hot, and the stuff marked blue is cold. Most of these are drinks, but a couple of things are soup. Let's buy some soup. Let's do it. Let's say, uh, corn soup and onion soup. So. Buy one of each, I guess. And uh, spill it out on me. All right. And what a better way to enjoy hot soup. <laughs> now it's very practical. If you're going uh, on a train and late in the evening, you got you know off work late. You're going home during the rush hour and everything sucks anyway and you're starving. Uh, warm soup. Yeah, hot soup in a can is a great idea. Mm -hmm. So we got two different flavors. Uh, I got an onion soup. And this is just corn soup. Now I've had the corn soup and it was really good. I have not. I really enjoyed it. And I don't think either of us have had the, corn, had the onion. No, I've seen onion. I've also seen like a bean type of soup. Um, mm -hmm. And I've just never had any of them. Yeah, corn is the only one that I've had and I loved it. It was great. So, uh, yeah, we're going to give this a shot. Yeah. Did I, I, I eat I don't even know. 
<laughs> what do you say when you drink soup? <laughs> I'm gonna say itadakimasu. Kadimas. <laughs> Kandimas. Kandimas. <laughs> whatever. We can say whatever we want to say. We're stupid guys. So. Exactly. Mm. Wow. I didn't expect that immediately I was going to get like a mouthful of corn kernels. Yeah, corn kernels in yours. They're really good. I didn't get any pieces of onion yet, but this is just like a broth. Mm -hmm. Like an onion broth soup. My onion soup's really good normally when it's got, like at TGIF or whatever, you order it and it's covered in cheese and it's baked or whatever. Yeah, uh, it's good, definitely. Uh, yeah, I don't... On the can, it looks like there's supposed to be stuff inside of it, but I don't think there is. Oh, really? I think it's just the broth. Well, this one is very, um, it's really thick. It's soup for sure. It's not a drink. Yeah. And it's got lots of corn in it. It's very sweet. Uh, so I've never even, that I can remember, I've never eaten corn soup. You know, I've, yeah. I've eaten creamed corn. Uh, so I would say it's very similar to that. Just slightly runnier, but just about as much corn as creamed corn. Yeah, yeah I mean, it tastes just like corn. It's, so It's really good. Really good. <laughs> yeah. So as far as mine... It, it's, it's pretty good, but I don't know if I'd recommend it. I think if you're going to get a soup in a can, I'd go with the corn, because the corn is really good. <laughs> well, now I'm really interested to try the um, the bean one and any other ones I yeah. see, yeah. just to give them a shot, because you know, I never had this before as many times as I've seen it, just because I thought it was kind of weird. But It was a little weird, you know, getting soup out of a vending machine. <laughs> That's a little bit weird. But it's very good. Um, I will not hesitate to. I'll be getting this again for sure. Yeah, yeah, I love the corn. I'll definitely be getting corn again sometime. So for the fun factor, for the taste, I recommend thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. Good stuff. Yeah, so that's three out of three from our vending machine. They were all good. Mm -hmm. They're all recommended. So I mean, you really can't go wrong at a vending machine. Uh, I'll correct you on that. Yeah, I have gotten, gotten something. I have gotten like the weirdest stuff. Yeah, I tried a couple of drinks that were. Um, they, I mean, they looked good, and then the, when you drink it, you're like, what the hell did you put in the bottle? That's terrible. Interesting. Yeah, because I, whenever I see something new in a vending machine, I usually get it just mm -hmm. so I can try it. And I haven't gotten anything yet where it was like, ooh, that was not good. I guess it depends on what kind of coffee person you are, because half of the things mm -hmm. in the vending machine are coffee. a lot of coffee stuff. And yeah. I've tried a lot of them, um, and a lot of them are just not good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess with the coffee, it's that can be kind of a hit and miss. Mm -hmm. But as far as yeah, the more sweeter drinks, mm, yummy, yummy. <laughs> the grape and the <laughs> yeah. jelly soda and all of that stuff. Yeah, those are really good. The orange ones are usually good. So orange ones. Yeah, with all the orange pulp and oh yeah, the big tall boys. Yeah, there is one that I don't like though. That not so hot. Where it's that one, the orange one, where it's kind of like bubbly. Mm -hmm. uh, it has got like a French flag on it. Yeah, it's like an orange fizzy drink. Not bad. That one I'm not a huge fan <laughs> of. But... For the most part, pretty good stuff. Lots to choose from anyway. Yep. All right, so that was three out of three. We did real good. Pretty happy with that. Yep. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and stay tuned for next week when we got... Yakitori. Yakitori. Delicious. So, uh, some chicken on a stick. It's going to be good. All right. So, until next time, sayonara. sayonara.